This resource is for our liturgical interpreters. It is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Cycle A. Our first reading is from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Israelites came to the desert of the Sinai and pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountain, Moses went up to the mountain of God. Then the Lord called to him and said, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob, Tell the Israelites, that you have seen for yourselves how I treated the Egyptians and how I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people through all the earth is mine. You shall be to me the kingdom of priests, a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock. He tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointment appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But when God proves his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, how much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him? from the wrath. Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom we have received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. The gospel according to Matthew. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus heard what was, and Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. 
Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are there. First Simon, called Peter, then his brother, Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother, John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon from Cana, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus, Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, do not go into a pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers. Drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.